Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are trying Chico Stick, made by the Atkinson Candy Company. Coming straight out of Texas. And man, I haven't had a Chico Stick in about five years. But every single time that I have had one in my hands and I've gnawed on it, I've had a great experience. I've always liked these. It's just they're kind of hit and miss where you can find them. But regardless, we are going to review this and give it a full rounded idea. If you've never tried it, I'm going to do my best to describe what it tastes like and let you know if it's worth picking up. So anyways, let's get into the history about this thing goes all the way back to 1954, and yeah, that's when it was first uh, introduced in commerce. Now, there are some rumors here and there where before they named it Chico Stick, they were trying to go by Chicken Bones. Now, if you Google online Chicken Bones candy, you will find some candy that looks kind of similar to a Chico Stick. Anyways, disavowing all the rumors and hearsay, Chico Stick came out in 1954, and the name of it came from one of the Atkinson's representatives, and they just said, oh, it's Chico Stick, and the name just stuck. Now, if you look back at old wrappers of Chico Sticks, you will see that there is a chicken on there. Now, this is still, from what I read, it's a rumor. It's not like solid fact, but it's been said quite a bit online that it was named a Chico Stick because the candy itself uh, looks like fried chicken. So anyways, what exactly is a Chico Stick? Well, it says right here, it's crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut. It's kind of like a Zagnut bar in a way. So whenever I did have one of those, I was like, oh, that kind of reminds me of a Chico stick. But uh, I'm sure there's going to be some differences. But regardless, yeah, this is uh, the real deal. Uh, there was a change in formula in the recipe in 2019 where they went with all natural uh, flavors and ingredients. And uh, also the color in it is a little more dull compared to the ones prior to 2019, where it was more vibrant uh, orange. Now it's just kind of a dull orange, but that's just because they're not using artificial colors anymore. As far as different variants of Chico sticks, there really isn't much besides different sizes of the candy, but there's also a sugar-free version. So, but that, that's about it. I might like to see one dipped in chocolate. That may be actually really good, but... Anyways, uh, the ingredients on here, since this is all natural stuff, we've got cane sugar, corn syrup, peanut butter, contains fresh ground and dry roasted peanuts, salt, ooh, toasted coconut, turmeric color, vegetable juice color, natural vanilla flavor, and palm kernel oil. All right. On the official Atkinson's website, it reads, Chico sticks are now made with all simple ingredients and nothing artificial. It's a little salty, a little sweet, and a lot crunchy. Made with roasted peanuts and coconut, each flaky bite is savory and delicious. It smell like a cigar. Oh, that smells amazing. God. Look at that peanut butter in there. It's like a churro, kind of. It resembles it a little bit. But, oh, it smells like such sweet coconut and the peanut butter mixing in there. Ah, oh, man, yeah. I haven't had one of these in a very long time. I'm pointing at you. <laughs> I'm ready to go. So, anyways, here we go. Chico stick. You know what? That is even better than what I remember it tasting like before. That is that is really awesome. Mmm. Oh yeah. That is really good. Okay, so I'll just explain why it's so good. 
the outside ring here, as you can kind of see, it has like a chewy peanut butter type flavor to it. And then the inside, I guess you could call it the marrow, it's airy. And I've read online, uh, people have called it like a honeycombed kind of uh, peanut butter. But yeah, it's it's very airy on the inside. So it's like a a, tex a texture kind of thing. But it's also sweet and salty, like they say. But there is... Mmm. Uh, it's got the tropical vibe, too, because of the coconut. And, you know... We all think chocolate and peanut butter goes great together, but peanut butter and coconut is a really, really great combination here. And it's not, you know, too sparse on the coconut. There is a lot packed down onto this. So, mmm. It's chewier than I thought. That outer ring being chewy and that center being this airy, crunchy peanut butter... It's so good. And the coating here is a coconut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I swear to God, I've been sleeping on these Chico sticks. And as you chew on it, it kind of just forms into this chewy ball of, like, coconut and peanut butter all together. So you think of this and think, oh, it's just, like, dissolve in your mouth. No, it forms into this chewy, nice, tropical, peanut buttery kind of candy before you swallow it. Mm. Alright, so when you take a look at the Chico stick and you think it's a pretty basic kind of candy, simple candy, but as you actually eat it, and get into the candy, you'll know that there are many, many different layers of this candy that really does take you off guard. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you. So, as you can see right there, totally different than other uh, things happening within the Chico stick. Right here, you've got this kind of uh, chewy area that goes all around, and then the inside is that airy, like crunchy uh, peanut butter and then the outside layer here right here is a tropical coconut taste uh, with all the flakes and everything the sweetened coconut it's great I always remember having these and always liking them and you know as I become an adult and my feelings my emotions become more calloused and everything else, I think anything I approach that I liked as a kid, I'll think is like uh, whatever. Even though I had this five years ago and I was an adult then, I wasn't really giving it a thorough critique as I am now. But now, really taking a very good appreciation of the Chico stick, I have to say, this is a golden, golden candy. I would recommend this for anybody that wants to try something different than your average candy bar. And um, it's not as fattening either, you know. It's 200 calories for the whole stick. Yeah, that's not bad. So I would definitely give this a shot if you were wanting to try like a, maybe a better alternative to the Butterfinger because I'm not a big fan of the Butterfinger. And I'm not a big fan of Fifth Avenue either. But this... It's amazing, and yeah, I, I'd recommend this if you were to want to reach for something else besides your usual chocolate kind of deal. This is right up your alley. So as a candy, if you've never had this before, I definitely recommend you picking up. If you haven't tried it in a few years, definitely pick it up again since they changed up their recipe in 2019. Um... Yeah, it's still amazing. So, uh, yeah, I give this a 10 out of 10. Chico sticks are awesome. So, yeah, no doubt about it. So definitely recommend it. Chico sticks, 10 out of 10. And, yeah, that is it for this cheat day review. 
Thank you guys for watching. I'm DJ Glowing Ice, always wanting to remind you that it is okay to cheat every once in a while. And your question of the day. If you have tried the Chico stick, do you think if it was dipped in chocolate, it would be even awesomer? Is that a word? It is now. Maybe that will be a project for me in the future. We shall see. What do you guys think? Anyways, have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace out.